the majesty Queen Constantina Charlotte Gertrude with me and Maisie
sleep. I'm exhausted after all that shopping. Tomorrow I'm going to have to get a massage. That's the only thing that does me any good. A good pounding. <laughs> That's what your father used to say. <laughs> I'm all tired out too, Mom. Why from sore to sore the way we did? You're tired? Yes, I'm tired. I suppose you think me the only ones that are tired. Well, who bought the most? That has nothing to do with it. That has everything to do with it. Oh, go to bed, all of you. Oh, I don't wait for the you alone.
costume because we haven't given a ball in five years. You've done nothing to give your subjects any fun, not a festival, not a fair, not a pageant. You've done nothing to make your people love you. Ah, oh, but they do anyway. <laughs> Don't they? Oh. The royal tailor will have to make you another suit. That'll cost money! Don't start to worry what we'll have to pay the tailor. Wait till you see what this ball is going to be. Maybe through. this is no time to splurge. The, the ex-tracker is oh, no the chef and the steward is outside waiting to record their plans for the dinner. The dinner? Certainly. You can't give a ball without a dinner. Come in, gentlemen. Don't have them in here.
Well, to tell you the truth, sir, it's not a night I'm looking forward to. Dancing with all those candidates. Candidates? With every simmering girl in the kingdom, each one determined to show that she is the perfect princess for me. Yes, and I know how you feel. More fun to chase after one girl than to be stampeded by a whole herd of them. One thing is sure, whoever I marry won't be someone I meet at the ball. No, I feel, my boy, I feel the same. Only there's one thing we must forget. Your mother's got her heart set on giving this affair. Yes, I know. And Christopher, if you talk to her about this, don't tell her how you feel. Tell her that you, that you love the idea of the ball. Know what I mean? Make her feel good about it. Yes, yes. Now, <clears throat> hold on, hold on here. Yeah, uh, Christopher and I were just discussing. I was just saying, Mother, how much I'm looking forward to the ball. It sounds wonderful. Does it? Yes. I was wondering if I could help you at all. I mean, in any of the preparations. Well, yes, perhaps you can. <laughs> And I see they're bringing my horse around from the stables now. <laughs> Have you got the slippers? Catching the cold? Better take something for it. Don't want to have a red nose on the night of the ball. I'll be over it by then. Uh, Missy. What? That boy isn't unhappy. How do you know? I asked him. He says he's feeling fine. Did he? You know what? What? I love you. Naturally you do. I'm the king. <laughs>
if my godmother were a fairy godmother. <laughs> Very funny. Good joke. I am wishing, in the name of every young girl who ever wanted to go to a dance and was told she couldn't, I am wishing that I may go to that dance tonight. I wish that, by some sort of magic or abracadabra or fall to roll and fiddle dee dee, that all the kind hearts in the world will put their heads together. All the kind hearts put their heads together? You know what I mean. That all the kind hearts and good souls will wish with me. And that you, Godmother, will help me with every ounce of strength and cleverness you possess. Cinderella? Yes, Godmother? It's impossible. Impossible? I suppose so. Impossible for a thing in a pumpkin to become a wounded parent. Impossible for a thing country pumpkin and a horns to join the parent. And for white high school never be for white horses. Such follow the road in the city of horses.
met you before, have I? No, I don't get out much. I don't even know your name. Mine is Christopher. Yes, I know. Christopher, Rupert, Windermere, Vladimir, Carl. I don't use all those names. I would like you to call me just Christopher. You would? Have you a strange feeling that something has just happened to you, but you don't know what it is? Yes, that is exactly the way I feel. And you have no idea what it may be? No, no I have no idea. I wonder how we can find out what it is. Let us think back over our history together. <laughs> It's not very long, is it? Ten minutes ago I saw you I looked up when you came through the door My head started reeling You gave me the feeling The room had no ceiling or floor Ten minutes ago I met you And we murmured about I wanted to ring out the bells and fling out my arms and to sing out the news. I have found her. She's an angel with the dust of the stars in her eyes. We are dancing, we are flying, and she's taking me back to the skies. In the arms of my love, I'm flying over mountains. I like it so well that for all I can tell, I may never come down again. I may never come down to earth again. I have told you how I felt. You haven't described your feelings. Well, they're very much the same as yours.
Yes, it is. With the moon beaming down on us. Oh, what's the matter? I must go. Why? Because I, I promised my godmother. Your godmother would forgive you if you were a little late. Oh, no, she won't. You don't understand. I have a strange kind of godmother. <laughs> You're a strange kind of girl. You haven't yet told me your name. Well, it's a silly name. You wouldn't like it. Oh, of course I would. Whatever you are called is the most beautiful name in the world. <laughs> Whatever your name is, I love you. I will always love you. You don't say anything. I've just told you that I love you, and you don't say anything? I'm afraid to. I'm afraid I might wake up. Are you sure you were asleep? Oh, yes. Are you dreaming that I'm about to kiss you? It is strange how things happen. A girl I never saw before enters a room, and my whole life is changed. Suddenly, I am in a different world. I am deeply in love. And yet, I don't know why I am in love. Do you? Do I what? Do you know why I am in love? <laughs> what did you think I meant? I thought you meant, do I know why I am in love? Well, do you? I mean, are you? Oh, yes. And do you know why? No, but I don't care why. I always want to know why I do anything. Why I feel anything. And so I ask myself why you, a stranger, can suddenly be the only kind of girl I could love. And you are the only one of your kind. Why? Why is the sound of your voice the sweetest sound in the world? Why is the color of your hair the only color a girl's hair should be? Why would I rather hold you in my arms than do anything else in the world? Why? Because, Your Highness. Christopher. Christopher. Because that's the way you feel. But why do I feel that way? What makes you so miraculous? Your imagination. Then what makes my imagination so miraculous? <laughs> do I love you because you're beautiful? Or are you beautiful?
you your name.
stop dancing. Yes. You walk. Yes. You stop walking. Yes. You talk. Then you stop talking. That's right. Then you start thinking. Oh. Start thinking what? Thinking how wonderful it all is. How wonderful what all is? Everything. <laughs>
That's what I would do. Well, I would. See that the sliver is tried on every young girl in the kingdom. Every last one, no matter how unlikely she looks. You are to keep trying until you find the one that fits. Do you understand? Yes, sir! Find that girl. I, I gotta go check with her. Keep my secrets first. Chris, suppose you don't find her. I must find her. Before last night, you knew nothing about her, except that she danced prettily and she looked pretty. I know that she is the loveliest thing on earth. Why do and you I will never be happy without her. Why do you think that? I don't know why. And I don't expect you to understand, Mother. But I do understand, Chris. I know it doesn't take long to, to feel the way you do about this girl. But there's one fact I want you to face. You may never see her again. I don't want you to waste your life on a dream. I want you to be in love with a real girl. She is real. She was real last night. But if she doesn't come back, she'll never be real again. Will she? Be honest with yourself. Does your future happiness really depend upon your finding her? Or are you just telling yourself that? Don't be angry with me. Think over what I'm saying. Ask yourself if this is not just some illusion or infatuation with something that doesn't exist at all. You're somewhere out there. And I don't know where. You said last night you thought we were dreaming. Maybe you were right. Maybe my mother is right. How can I know? How can one ever know? Do I love you because you're beautiful?
And do you try to slip on every young maiden? Every maiden that could be fouled, Your Highness. I'm sorry. The mother was right. I'll never find her. Either she doesn't exist, or she's fled the kingdom. It is all a foolish dream. Thank you. You may go. resembles you. Do you by any chance have a sister? Three, Your Highness. These sisters, were they at the ball? Yes, Your Highness. Do they look like you? Well, they're stepsisters, Your Highness. Stepsisters? Oh. Is there anything wrong, Your Highness? Just the end of a dream. A dream that didn't come true. About a glass slipper that didn't fit anyone. Oh, Your Highness, you mustn't give up hope. It was just a waste of time, a wild goose chase. It was impossible. But Your Highness, impossible things are happening every day. And even foolish dreams come true. Oh, yes, Your Highness. If you wish hard enough and believe in what you're wishing, even foolish dreams come true. Why do I feel, or am I just imagining? Who are you? Oh, I'm just a girl from the village. I'd better be going. My stepmother will be wondering where I am. Your stepmother wouldn't mind if you were a little late. Wouldn't mind if you were a little late. Really, Your Highness, I must go. Yes, I suppose you must. Well, goodbye, <coughs> Your Highness. Yes, goodbye. Wait, at least tell me your name. Oh, it's a silly name. You wouldn't like it. Silly name? Wouldn't like it. Stop! Did anyone try to slip around you? No, Your Highness. I have found you, and I still do not know your name. My name is Cinderella. <clears throat> the most beautiful name in the world. 